But where'd you ever get the idea to say you were... Chucky, Chucky baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, what a relief. I don't think I'd lasted too long with that famous artist bit. <laughs> but why don't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Thank you. And Florence, another thing. You know, on my resume, I said I was really into skydiving. Yeah. Well, I lied. <laughs> but I did fall out of bed once. <laughs> oh, sure, I'm glad we got this straight now. <laughs> yeah, me too. Come on, George, they want to be alone. Uh, oh, OK. See you later, Mark. Okay. Next time I'm changing lanes, I'll think about you. <laughs> Mark, let's talk and see how compatible we really are. Okay, let's talk. Name a subject. All right. Marriage. Marriage. Well, I believe in marriage. Do you? Believe in it. I pray for it. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about long engagements? I don't see any reason for long engagements once you find the right person. Really? <laughs> Well, you sound like a man who wants to get married and have eight or nine kids. Not exactly. Six or seven? <laughs> Two kids and a dog. Lawrence, I think parenthood is a wonderful thing. All right. But it's not for me. I've decided not to have kids. Oh. Oh. I'm getting a headache. Oh, is there something I can do? Not anymore. <laughs> Well, I better not go tonight. Okay. But if your uh, headache should happen to go away, I'll be at the Blue Peacock restaurant. Well, I don't know. Sometimes these headaches last a long time. I know because I had one last week. How long did it last? Two weeks. <laughs> Florence, I'd really like to get to know you better. Same here. I'll come visit you sometime. You don't even know where I live. I'll follow the white lines. <laughs> Florence, what happened to Mark? Oh, he wasn't for me. I mean, he was, but he couldn't do what I wanted him to do. I mean, he could if he wanted to, but he didn't want to. So, of course, I didn't want him. I'm going to watch the president's press conference. Compared to you, even he makes sense. <laughs> Florence, I know something's wrong. It might help to talk about it. Oh, Mark doesn't want to have kids. Huh? Oh, Miss Jefferson, you wouldn't understand. You've got Lionel. Lionel? What has this got to do with Lionel? He's your son, ain't he? Of course he's my son. Yeah, but I... you've got Lionel. Mrs. Willis has got Jenny. Jenny's pregnant. I'm the only one who ain't having a baby. But Florence, you know babies aren't made overnight. I mean, you might have one someday. I can't wait for someday. If I don't get married and start a family soon, it's gonna be too late. And then where will I be? What kind of woman will I be with no kids? I'll be like a frame without a picture. <laughs> a camera without film. Florence! A corn cob without niblets. <laughs> Florence, there are a lot of women without children. I ain't talking about a lot of women. I'm talking about me. Oh, Miss Jefferson, you don't know what it's like to want to have a child and not be able to have one. Oh, yes, I do, Florence. Huh? I said, I do know what it's like to want a child and not be able to have one. You mean Lionel's adopted? No. You stole it? <laughs> no. But before George and I got married, we decided that we wanted a big family. After Lionel was born, I found out that I couldn't have any more children. Oh, Miss Jefferson, I'm sorry. For a long time after that, I felt I was less of a woman. But then I realized it's me who makes me a woman. Not a baby, not a husband, not anything else. Maybe so, but I'd still like to have a family. <laughs> Well, you might have a family one day, but even if you don't, you'll still be a woman. Hmm. 